Hey everybody, it's Jane and Mike from Earth Care Farm. It is October 20th and we are in the beginning of garlic planting season, which is one of our big crops here at Earth Care Farm. We're well known for it. So I'm just going to show you our process for planting garlic. It's got many steps. Um, the first step is to get your bulbs into cloves. Um, this is our, this is a clove. This is the bulb. They're gigantic. They are. They're beautiful this season. Um, really psyched about the quality this you year. You plant your biggest and best. Yep. So every year we save our best, best, best cloves for planting. So all I'm doing is breaking up. This is a great way to practice if you need to enter a thumb work competition. It is a thumb workout um, for sure. So that's what we're doing. We've spent many hours preparing the 200 pounds of seed that we will need. Um, that's what we do. We break it up into individual cloves. I then have preemptively, this is an optional step, something I like to do. I soak the cloves in a diluted apple cider vinegar um, kind of tea. Uh, it's just, I just added one cup of apple cider vinegar to one gallon of water. And then just for a little extra boost, I added one tablespoon of kelp meal just to kind of give it a little boost. And I soak this overnight. This is an optional step. It's something that I do to kill off any potential mites that would have been in there, any diseases. Um, but I didn't have any diseases or mites, just a pre pre preventative thing to do. Next thing to do is prepare our bed. The only thing I need for that is my handy dandy rake. This one's great. My son wood burned my name into it and he added a special handle here. Well, you'll see why he added that for me pretty awesome kid um, so this actually was beautifully prepared and then our cattle got out the other day and ran <laughs> through it things that happen on the farm some things are out of your control so you'll see there's some beautiful footsteps in that bed um, I'm just gonna show you what I do it's a quick process of pulling up the sides I'm only gonna do this like five foot section I then hop over here pull up this side And then I just smooth the whole thing out. And you'll see this is going to be quite the job. I've got a, you know, a third of an acre to do here. Um, also to mention, these beds are very, very fertile soil. And I have topped them with another inch or so of our raised bed mix just recently. All right. So this is why I have this handy handle right here, which you don't need, but it was just a nice thing that my son added on there. We're going to make our rows. This is my marking ruler now. One. And I'm going to plant these six inches apart. So these are my rows I'm marking. I'm marking them six inches apart, which I've kind of just can build by feel now. All right, my nice rows. I then, you can use the end of your rake. My son's actually kind of sharpened it a little bit for me. Or if you don't have you don't want to use your your handle like this. This is a tool meant for this. This is called a dibble, um, which does the same thing. So I'm making my holes for my garlic seed six inches apart. For me, that's about my fist. And then the rows are six inches apart, and I'm going to alternate where I'm making my holes in the row next to it. So it makes kind of like a triangular pattern. This one will be now lined up with this red. Might be hard to see with the sun, but once I plant, I think you'll get the gist. All right, so it makes these nice little diagonals for planting. I then am going to take my seed, which you could have soaked or not. And this is the top. This is like, I always say, this is like his the little hat of the clove. This is where the roots are, his little feet. And we're just gonna Tuck those in, and hopefully your soil's nice and soft, so you can just tuck it in, so that you can't see the seed. Ideally, any seed is planted, almost any seed, twice as deep as the seed is big. So we kind of got to get that in pretty good. Look at this clove, holy camoly. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these are just so big. All right, so I'm just gonna do, so that all three rows are up to even, met each other. All the hats are up. All right. All right, so I plant it to here. Then what you're going to want to do is um, take your rake again, cover over, just kind of tucking them in. This is when I like to think 
really cozy thoughts for the winter time. Good health, nutrition. This is the good night for the garlic. And then the last thing, actually Poppy, do you have a knife? Sure. The last thing is we're gonna cover with straw. That's just an extra insulating sort of blanket, keeps weeds down in the springtime. It looks nice, it's something for microorganisms to feed on throughout the winter. Make sure you get straw and not hay. Hay has seed in it, straw is harvested before it's gone to seed. So I'm gonna take a little cake of straw. And I'm just going to, you have to choose this on a not a windy day. <laughs> I'm just going to cover, let me get a little more. It comes out a little bit bigger. But there we go. All right. This is a good amount. I kind of fluff it up a little bit to get that air. It's the air in the straw that really creates that insulation. And then this is good. You might see a little sprouting over the winter time. Totally fine. These guys are hardy and they need a freeze throughout the winter. So you need to plant them in the fall to get a good crop. And then we will harvest these in about mid-July. Um, and then it's a whole process. Something we're always working with is our garlic. So that's planting garlic 101. Anything you want to add, Poppy? Well, sometimes it's nice to uh, moisten your straw after you put it on so it doesn't blow if it's real True. windy. Yep. You know, you can just with a sprinkler uh, or a hose, moisten your straw so it doesn't blow around. Uh, I guess I'll just point out, this year we're experimenting, there's buckwheat planted in between the rows. That's just another nitrogen fixing crop and it will die when, when we get a hard frost. So it's just going to add a little bit of nutrition and um, keep the weeds down in the pathways. But it's kind of an experiment this winter. Um, anyway, thank you so much. I hope you guys are all planting your own garlic because there's nothing as delicious as homegrown oh. garlic. Thank you for listening. Thanks, everybody.